Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today's vlog is going to start off a little bit differently than normal because there's something that I want to speak about which is really really important to me. For me one of the main reasons why I have this platform and why I started doing social media and you guys probably know what I'm going to be speaking about anyway. If you follow me over on Instagram I would have already posted about it. I did actually post about it last night so by the time this video goes live I think it will have been a week later. This is something that is very very important and it doesn't have an expiry date. It doesn't have an end date. It needs to be spoken about all the time and raised all the time because our stories need to be listened to and heard and shared because they are very very real obviously you'll have seen by the title of today's video that before we get into the vlog i'm going to be speaking about what happened yesterday with liam and i and the homophobic hate crime that we experienced on the tube into central london we basically got on the tube together and this individual got on and sat a few seats next to us again nothing out of the ordinary london tubes are always so so busy so we didn't really think anything of it he decided to get up and he was kind of like huffing and puffing and you could kind of feel his anger i'm one of those people anyway that i'm very alert and i'm very alert to my surroundings people things that are going on so i'm always my eyes are always up watching people and you guys know I'm a people watcher anyway so I saw him get up and he was kind of looking at us getting really angry fists balled up and he was just spitting huffing and puffing huffing and puffing we were literally sitting next to each other and I think that's one of the worst parts about it the fact that we weren't we didn't instigate it not that it, it, sh it should matter but nothing happened we were literally we weren't even talking we were just sitting down next to each other not close holding hands no PDA nothing like that nothing to really suggest that we were gay to have him almost make a snap decision that he almost he instantly didn't like us that for me was the scary part because seeing that instant reaction to him you know sitting down getting up getting really angry considering we did nothing i was like if that if he could if that response and reaction could arouse from literally nothing if i confront him or kind of say to him or try to raise an alarm and be like you're right mate i just didn't know where it was going to go and for my safety and for also liam's safety um, I just didn't want to have that risk. It started to get a little bit worse and he started to, he's decided to say horrible, horrible things that I seriously would not wish upon my worst enemy. It was just disgusting. And I'm not gonna share those names because I'm sure you guys can probably work out for yourself what kind of homophobic words he was saying. And we started to get very uncomfortable and I knew if we didn't leave, I just didn't know what was gonna happen. You didn't want this situation to escalate. So I was like, okay, fight or flight response, we need to leave because I'm not gonna fight this guy. You know, I don't wanna prejudge anyone. But for me, I'm like, if he is comfortable enough sitting on a public tube, saying these horrible things, spitting, huffing and puffing, getting angry, I don't know what he could be carrying. I don't know what he could be thinking. I don't know what his next move is. And I didn't want it to get to that stage. I decided to um, call my friend, Megan, and strangely, I was literally just with her. Again, you will have seen in the last vlog, I was literally, I had just come from Megan's house. Um, so I called her and I think instantly she knew in my voice that something was terribly wrong because I was very like, reserved. I was like, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to speak too much. I don't want to say anything which could kind of like, you know, push him to want to argue with us or make any, any of the matters worse. So I just kind of said to her like, you know, I'm coming over, I'll be with you in a sec. Um, yeah, we're just getting off the tube at the next stop and we'll be with you in five minutes to kind of like, kind of tell the guy like, you know, we've got people outside waiting for us at the tube. We're not vulnerable, we're not alone and we are going to escape this, so don't freaking come for us. It was almost like a peace of mind, me having Megan on the phone, just kind of like to have that protection there. Even though, you know, we were not going anywhere near Megan's, I'd just come from her, we were going into central London to get our haircuts. He still kept saying things when I was on the phone to Megan, and I started to look around the tube, because I know that the tubes have that kind of safety precaution and that, and that uh, bell or buzzer or button you can press for like safety reasons so if something's happening you can press it and then the tube stops and people can like sort it out like please and stuff but I literally couldn't see anything and I don't know whether that was just because I was so scared and terrified that I was just like I was in a bit of a like a haze that I was like oh I just need to get off I felt very claustrophobic I felt scared and anxious for both myself and for my partner who I love and I just didn't like seeing in that situation literally on from the next stop um we got off and I was still on the phone and we waited on the platform. He then followed us off 
he then decided to walk past us again. His, the slurs, the homophobic words and disgusting comments he was making still carried on. And then he kind of stood a couple of meters away from us, just looking at us, sneering at us, saying things. And genuinely in that moment, like I said earlier, it was a fight or flight response. And I was like, we need to jump back on this tube because things are going to escalate if he thinks that we're gonna, you know, walk out the tube and things are gonna get worse. Um, especially because, you know, the tube have CCTV. So if anything was to be caught, again, report it, they can sort it out. If we were to leave, the the tube and we didn't know this tube stop so this wasn't anywhere we were familiar with so i was like if we were to leave and he was to follow us and he was to get violent or physical i just i just don't know what could have happened and i didn't want to take that risk so we literally before the doors closed because you can hear them in the tubes we jumped on stood there with liam and we literally watched him as the tube pulled away we watched him on the uh, on the platform still standing there still looking after us like watching us leave so it was kind of like it felt as though we had done like we had had a lucky escape because it was almost like he didn't need to get off at that stop he only got off at that stop because it was where we got off and that's what was terrifying the fact that they it turned from something which was just comments and hate words and verbal abuse to then something which could lead to a lot worse and be physical and violent i'm not sharing this story and i said this on my social media i didn't share this story to scare anyone or to make few people feel like you know london is a not a safe space to live because this kind of stuff happens everywhere and i've gone through i've dealt with it my entire life and the reason why i'm sharing it is because i want every single person to know transport for london family friends people who don't know me i want the word to get out that this is not okay that there were people on the tube watching this happen watching this go down sitting around us completely oblivious to what was going on and I'm like, if you are this person who is a witness to it, is can see people uncomfortable, can see things happening, you need to step in. You need to be there as an ally, as a friend, as a stranger who knows right from wrong. I don't blame those people, but that's why we should share our stories more. No story that is to do with homophobia is too small. You know, I genuinely believe that whether it's a verbal hate crime, a physical hate crime, God forbid, that we should be sharing them. We should be speaking about them because everyone needs to know that these are happening in 2021, right under our noses today, to your friends, to your loved ones, to your colleagues, to your school friends. We still so badly need things like pride because it's important for people to know that this is a safe space, that we haven't forgotten about the people who have lost their lives, the people who are still continuing to go through this shit every single day. And like I said, we've been, we, Liam and I have moved to London now for the last four months. This is the first time this has ever happened. I came away from it not feeling like, oh gosh, you know, this is what all of London's like, because I know that was just a wrong place, wrong situation kind of situation. I'm glad and so grateful we were able to escape the situation. I cannot put into words how bloody terrifying it is. And I'm trying not to like, you know, get too emotional or passionate because like being in that situation and you really won't understand it until you are there. You genuinely fear for your life. You genuinely fear for the worst because you just don't know how people can be and how bad and the lengths people will go to. And you read on the news and stories and social media and stuff about other people who have gone through a lot worse and in your head, all of those thoughts rush through where you're like, that is gonna be me. In, in a couple minutes, that will be me if I don't run and escape the situation. But basically the reason why I wanted to come on and share this story again, um, I know probably a lot of you did see it on my stories and thank you so much for the love and the comments and the DMs and messages about it. It seriously does mean the world to, to have your support and your allyship, but also to know that it's the, those stories, those voices, those experiences are getting out there and are being shared because it's providing a space and a platform for so many people to also share their experiences and to not feel like they have to deal with them alone. Today is a new day. Um, I've woken up. I feel so grateful for my for my platform, for my beautiful people. And that's why I wanted to spend the first 10 minutes of this video just kind of sharing that story and talking about how, why I did what I did and why it's important to keep speaking about it. But just remember to all my beautiful people, you are not alone. My DMs are always open. Always, always be yourself. I always tell myself I will live a happy life if I live as me and I do everything in my power to live as myself, to be myself, to wear what I want, to, you know, follow my dreams and to not let anything stop me despite what people may say or think or do. I will know at the end of it, I did myself proud by living as me. I don't want this story to scare anyone or to feel like, you know, you're gonna experience this because it is unfortunately 
just it's just a part of life and i hate saying that because it shouldn't be a part of life but you're always going to have people regardless of where you are in all throughout your entire life who are going to want to step on your parade who are going to want to beat you down who are going to want to tear your life down because they just don't agree with who you are fuck them I mean, I don't often swear on this channel, but bloody hell, just don't listen to them. Except you accept yourself and encourage yourself to be you. You are so much better than them. Like these people are ignorant. They are cruel. They are small minded. That might sound cruel, but at the end of the day, don't you dare threaten mine and my partner's life because you don't agree with it, fine. You don't agree with it, keep it to yourself. Get off the tube, go away, move to a different carriage. Don't you dare come for us as if we're doing anything wrong, you know? Um, but anyway, on a lighter note, this afternoon, me and Megan, I'm actually seeing Megan again, which is lovely. Megan's, Megan has actually been in so many of my vlogs recently. I've actually loved it, but we're actually going to HomeSense and TK Maxx. Like I said in my last vlog, TK Maxx actually started bringing out their Christmas collection. And you guys know I'm a sucker for anything to do with the festive seasons, autumn, Halloween, Christmas, bonfire night even. I'm just like, yes, give me all the decor, give me all the vibes. And we just thought, you know, after yesterday, it's been raining. It's a very autumnal, cozy day. I mean, I've got the candle lit. It's just like, let's just take a couple of hours. Let's go grab a coffee, wander around some Home Sense and TK Maxx's and just enjoy the afternoon. I think I just need that. I need to just chill, be in my element, and just have a nice jolly of an afternoon, you know? And if you ever have any kind of comments or stories that you wanna share, please leave them in the comments. If you have any questions for me about the incident or how I deal with it or, I don't know, like my life growing up, then please do let me know in the comments. I'm 100% open with you guys and I just want everyone to feel like this is a safe space. The beautiful family is a safe space on the internet. I love you all and let's go shopping! <laughs> oh my God, right? So very excitingly, before I go shopping with Megan. Um, I've had three parcels today. I'm such a lover of when the doorbell goes and I'm like, oh my God, what's at the door? And then it's a parcel and I'm like, a parcel? For me, it's like Christmas day. So very excitingly, I'm actually working with the perfume shop on like a gifted basis. So every month they send me a brand new perfume slash aftershave to try. This month they have sent me Prada Ocean. A couple of years ago, I had the, which one did I have? Prada Luna Rossa Carbon Aftershave. And it was like my go-to feeling good aftershave. Like I have different aftershaves for different occasions like I have my everyday ones and then I have my more like special ones I remember absolutely loving it but it ran out and obviously Prada aftershaves are quite expensive anyway I cannot wait to give this one a go there's also building works happening outside of my apartment so if you can hear anything then I'm sorry but I have had to shut the window but it's gonna get a bit hot it's getting hot in here so take off all your clothes oh nice oh my god so I've actually got a funny story so this is from TK Maxx this wasn't a gifted I wish I mean TK Maxx if you're watching this video and you want to work with your boy please hit me up TK Maxx is a dream brand I mean I'm literally going there later for a shop with me this is a screen printed hair tea towel 100% cotton if you are a huge homeware decor or even fashion lover like I am and you like to shop in TK Maxx and home sense actually then you can now sign up for the treasure card which basically every single purchase you make at TK Maxx or home sense you swipe your treasure card and then you get points and then when you reach a certain amount of points you get certain gifts and TK Maxx basically send them out to you. We got a giant hair tea towel. Oh my gosh. So you know what I was saying earlier about the fact that the perfume shop they sent me the Prada shave for this month. Stop it. I've got another one. This month I got two. Oh my God, what a month. I told you, September is always the best time of the year. Paul Smith Extreme for men. Do you know what? My dad absolutely loves this scent. I think I'm going to keep this for him. I just had a message from Megan saying she's about five minutes away. So I'm going to get my shoes on and the next clip will be when I'm in Megan's car. So I'll see you very, very soon. So my loves, we are now sitting in the car. I say we because... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Look who I'm back with. I am literally taking over all of your videos. I know. I we should it. have a duo channel. A duo channel. A duo channel. Yeah, a duo channel. A duo channel. Megan I agree. and Jamie takes on the world. <gasps> Megan, I mean, in all of her autumnal glory, you look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I'm you actually do too. like in shock. This is the perfect outfit for like pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. Autumn home shopping in Home Sense and TK Maxx. Which is what we're doing. Yay! 
Morgan actually drove here I did. today. And how was it? How did you find it? So it was okay. I'm just a very anxious driver. But that's because you're I'm new a, to it. Yeah. Well, well no, not new to driving. I'm I'm fresh to driving again because I haven't driven for like two years. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean I have like every now and then, but not properly. Yeah. And I think the minute you live in London, you kind of just don't. London Drive driving anymore. is a whole other yeah. type of driving, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm, I'm proud of myself that I did it. Here we go. Oh my God, I'm so excited. TK Maxx, here we come. Megan's already roaring and ready to go inside. We have found the Halloween section. Megan is vlogging over there, living her best YouTuber life. Honestly, this makes me incredibly happy. I know we're only in September, guys, but come on now. Are you even in September if you're not already thinking about Halloween and this joyous festive season? I cannot wait to have kids i am gonna say it again guys i really want kids every time it gets to like this kind of season i'm like i want children to like celebrate halloween with and go trick-or-treating with like how cute would that actually be and like i feel like if i had children i'd actually have like a reason to buy like these cute little baking bits like imagine doing like cute halloween baking with your kids oh look at these little oven gloves down here actually i'm actually after like one of these um teaspoon holders for like my tea bags but i don't want a halloween one i'm sorry i'm sorry mr spooky ghost i just need to put you down look how fun these are boo 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 oh these ghosts look so much fun i would i would kiki with these ghosts i would have a party with these ghosts these ghosts are a bit of me i can't seem to find any pumpkins that would actually go with my color scheme oh my goodness i've come to the soft furnishings and actually we are after blankets and pillows galore especially now we're coming into the colder months we want to like redo the bedroom so we've put a lot of our time and energy and money into the to the living room to make it like to fill it out make it feel really cozy and nice because that is where we spend the majority of our time we now want to start working on the bedroom so we want to have like lovely throws and just like decorate it a little bit more they have really cute little pumpkin halloween throws they've got this one down here which is like a ghost oh it's got a little love heart where the heart is that is so sweet and this one is 42 pounds down to 19.99 i mean that is really good and it, oh my goodness it is so incredibly soft i also really really like these pillows and i actually really like this one where it's got like the the dark chocolatey brown on the back 16.99 that's not a bad price for a nice big cushion do i or do i not see the first little sign of christmas coming out in tk maxx Merry Christmas with all these gnomes. Oh, look at their little leopard print hats. That is cute. I'm gonna tuck you away, Mr. Pillow, for someone else to enjoy you the way I have. Oh, that's nice. Oh, but it doesn't look very thick. I like throws which have a bit of substance and texture. However, I do love that green and red plaid print. Again, very good for Christmas. Sorry, yeah. pumpkin all spice. I know, that's what I said, and pumpkin butter. Pumpkin butter. They bring out new and exciting ones every year. That's what we're trying. We're the amount of candles I now have, but to be fair, I have burnt all the way through one already. Have you? And it's awesome only one. yeah, yeah. And it's only the 10th of September, so I think I might need to to pick another Stop one up. up. On that. What are we gonna smell first? There's too much to choose from. Oh, this one looks really cute. That it's very festive really though. Apple and cinnamon. Apple cinnamon. Apple. <laughs> oh my god. Is it good? Stop. That is Christmas. If there ever was a scent. I want that. I want that. Up my nose 24-7. I want it up every <sighs> orifice. Smell. smell guys, come on, smell. <laughs> smell. Um, look at this one. Like so I quite like the look of this one. It's wheel of treats. And then on the top it's got like a little um like spinny oh, thing. Like a spin the wheel. Like a little spin the wheel. <laughs> Have some chocolate. <laughs> oh, okay. <That laughs> oh I don't like that. Oh no, okay, let me No, no. No. Blech. No, I'm not a fan. Peanut butter is my favourite scent. Am I going to like it? I love peanut butter, you know this. Oh my god, Jamie. Oh. That, that is, is dreamy. That just reminds me of baking. Autumn gnome. He's holding a little pumpkin spice latte, <laughs> just like we <laughs> always are. This is literally the third member of the gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't like that. That's too fresh for my liking. As in too fresh for yes. awesome. Yeah. yeah, I get you. Burnt, Burnt caramel pumpkin. and pumpkin. Warm, sweet and creamy. Oh. Ready? And look at the lid. That is cute. It's got a little handle. Ready? That's nice. How gorgeous is that gold foiling? <gasps> oh, that's so I know. 
Oh, oh another see, double wicker. Yeah, another double wicker, but you say that's too fresh. Yeah, that's bathroom that's stuff a for me. That's a bathroom yeah. alternative. DW Home is one of my favourites. Love DW Home. Um, and it's maple praline. Mm. And also, the lid is absolutely stunning. Oh. I don't love it. I don't love it. I like it, but I don't love it. Yeah, I like the jar more than the like actual it. scent. I agree. £13. That's good for a fat candle. Normally, they're 25 DW Home as well. I don't think you should buy it, but I think you should buy it. <laughs> Girl, I know good, that smells it? like everything I need in life. I've just Glum. found this one. It's in the shape of like a pumpkin. Don't I want that? Do you know what I love about candles like this? The fact that you can reuse them. That's what I. That's what as I little need. Jars. Yeah, jars. And this would be the perfect one because it is in the shape of a pumpkin. This one, bourbon pumpkin, and look at the top. Stunning. Oh my goodness, guys! I cannot tell you how excited I am for Christmas. And what have we just stumbled across? TK Maxx have officially started bringing out their Christmas selection. I mean, before I get into any of that exciting aisle over there, I found some little bits in the stationery aisle. Look how cute that is, like a little Christmas bag. More Christmas cards. Merry Christmas. Little tags, I like these. Like little gift sacks from Santa and you get like a red one, a green one and a, and a creamy one. Lots of nice little diaries. Remember guys, get your 2022, 2022, can you imagine? Get your 2022 to 2023 diaries now whilst there's like a bigger selection. You don't want to be rushing around last minute. You want to be prepared and ready to plan and be organised for the new year. And then we come around to this very exciting section. Obviously we are in September so the selection isn't as full as it normally would be but there are still some really cute bits to start stocking up for winter i really like this this little gingerbread home with the snow oh and it lights up oh do you know what i really want to buy my mum like a snow globe she's always wanted one but she's never found one she absolutely loves i'd love to get like a personalized one with our house inside of it i've only come to the blimmin exciting food section and what do they have lots of pumpkin delicious sweet syrups for autumn sorry pumpkin cheesecake oh it's not focusing pumpkin, pumpkin cheesecake, cheesecake limited edition full dessert trio that's a really look, nice gift look, look at this pumpkin if i can turn it around pumpkin cinnamon roll maple donut maple donut and pumpkin caramel scone, scone. That is a cute little set. Very cute. I wish I could have like actual coffee. White chocolate pumpkin as he picks up another sickly scent. White chocolate, white pumpkin. chocolate pumpkin. You've got to get that for your hot chocolate. Do I get the white chocolate or do I go for the cheesecake? One minute drive away, literally across the road. There is TK Maxx all the way over there. Um, here we have Home Sense. We were just too lazy. We were just too lazy. We were like... Too lazy. But we don't know what we're going to buy. No, exactly. We really don't. We're both after really aesthetic, nice pumpkins, pumpkins. for our apartment. So we're yeah. like... If we buy loads of pumpkins, we just don't know. We just don't know. Before we even get to the Halloween autumn section, we are graced with Christmas. That is absolutely adorable. I think this is actually a decoration to hang up on your tree or maybe the wall. I love this tree. I just, I really like the style. And this is only £10. I do like this cushion. I love That's you more exactly than pumpkin tell. anything. Cool, and then I love the tartan on the back. On the back. Yes. You can flip it over. Flip it over. Oh, do you know what? It's like a jersey material. We have just found tartan cushions. How beautiful are they? 16 99 That's not a bad price for like a, for a big pretty one. thick one. cushion. Yeah. Oh, what's down here? I love the rectangular cushions. They're really nice. But this is so cute. And I like his little glasses. He's such a dapper little guy. And he's got a little tartan bow tie and she's looking fierce. I'm not too sure whether you guys can hear me because the speaker is literally above my head. The music's um, really loud. I know, I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm going to speak uh, as fast as I possibly can. Um, we're in the clearance section of Home Sense and I've just found this bad boy. Sorry, it's an Emma Bridgewater Retro Mini Bluetooth radio speaker. Sorry. <laughs> That is adorable. If I was to come up with a print, that's what I'd come that's up what with. That's what you'd come up with. I think it's originally 70 or 80 pounds. Very, uh, quite expensive. And they've currently got it in the clearance for 50 pounds. I was questioning what design there was on the front because on the front they've got the love heart and the floral design. Do you guys know how much I'm a sucker for Emma Bridgewater? So I'm like, do I pick it up? I then realised, well, Megan helped me to realise that this bit, this little leather bit tells you what design it is. And this is, this is this one. The polka dot. The polka dot, the classic, the original, the one that will go with my biscuit the tin. OG. 
I am so tempted to buy it. So guys, we're now back in the car and we're currently about to drive through the Costa drive through I bought it, Megan swayed me and I was like, you know what? It's Emma Bridgewater. Are you gonna open it up? Yeah, so I'm gonna open it and see, see whether I like it, see whether I love it. <laughs> you guys in the comments are gonna be like, Jamie, save your money. It's oh not no, in there. Oh no, Jamie, it's really ugly. Don't even. She's beauty. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was gonna wait to do this at home and I was like, no, I can't. It no. comes in its own little duster bag. That is lush. If this isn't an autumn treat and a half. <gasps> okay, you ready guys? Look. I don't even know if I'm still recording. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Oh my God, she's gorgeous. Oh my God. So it's like a li little Jamie, retro I'm so mini jealous. Emma Bridgewater radio. And it's got Bluetooth, so I can like Bluetooth it to my yeah. phone and like listen to the radio in the morning. And then can I also get two of the pumpkin mallow shortcake, please? <sighs> Uh, the chocolate uh, shortcake, yeah? Yeah, the, the pumpkin one. Megan! I know! Well, that was a surprise! Yeah. Pumpkin mallow shortcake. And walking vampire ginger. I do like gingerbread. I like gingerbread. But, but I know shortcake. you like shortcake. <laughs> she knows, she knows. Imagine just like walking around London with this. How cute would this be? Oh my god. Just walking, you're not gonna walk around Central No, London. no, imagine, just as a little, like, with my headphones in, like, la, 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 la. Like a little, what are they called, you jukeboxes. Are. You can take those, those to picnics and stuff. Don't, how cute. Costa has officially arrived in our car. We've got, this is your oat? Yeah, caramel oat, vitamin B12 and zinc. Ooh, <laughs> you just said a hundred things like, that I don't what? understand. I know, how crazy. <laughs> and then I just went for a chai latte. They put a little smiley face on it. That's just the cutest little thing ever. And then we've got Halloween inspired gingerbread man and shortbread. I mean, come on now. Look at this pumpkin. He is grizzly, just like the weather today. Oh, do you know what? I actually love this weather though. The grizzly weather is just my fave. This um, vampire, I don't really understand why he's got two little holes here. Put your fingers in. To finger the vampire. To maybe so give, it, give him legs. Oh yeah, maybe. No, it's definitely just to finger him. <laughs> Good evening, my loves. If you can hear someone in the background, that will be Liam listening to TikTok. You don't have to turn it off. You can play your, play your things, play your videos. He's gonna turn it up now deliberately so you can't hear me. So I'm back, it's now a couple of hours later. Liam and I have just eaten dinner. And I just wanted to show you what my Emma Bridgewater retro radio looked like on the shelves in our apartment. Look how cute it looks. I absolutely love it, guys. I mean, we do have this one over here, which is just like a black um, Bose one. But yeah, I mean, you know, who doesn't love a bit more, bit more fun, bit more retro. And also we got this the other day from Morrison's, just a little bit of like an autumn decor piece. So this is like potpourri and obviously it's green, which matches our decor, but obviously you can unclip this and it opens and you can just like change it for whatever you want. It's like wire with bronze and it's got these like bronze leaves and it's like in the shape of a little pumpkin. So adorable. So yeah, that's just sitting there. So yeah, the decor bits are slowly, slowly growing in the apartment. I'm just trying to make it feel a little bit more homely and just full of bits that we actually love and as well as kind of things which actually look good in aesthetic. So now because it's Friday evening and because it's been one hell of a week, I am going to run myself a bath. I need a bubble bath, oh yes. Oh, should I see what I've got? I have these um, Dr. Salts, Epsom bath salts, which Liam used the other day and actually recommended. So I might try those out. So I've got lots of face masks, hand masks, hair masks, foot peels. I've got some eye masks, bath bomb, which I bet is gonna be so much fun. I'm a personal fan of the Lush ones, but I'm much more of a seasonal Lush kind of guy, so when they bring their, their special ones out at Christmas. And, oh, I used these the other day. So these are soft soaks, and they're moisturizing bath milk powders from Beauty Laundrette. Honestly, so relaxing, and they make the, they make the entire bathroom smell delicious. So angels, I have just had a nice little pamper. I literally spent about 45 minutes in the bath just soaking, listening to really chill music. I actually listened to the Love Actually soundtrack. <laughs> okay, I think Christmas is getting a little bit too into my head now, but you know, it's just the soundtrack. I haven't watched the movie or anything. 
yet um but i'm gonna round off the vlog here so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and today's vlog if you did don't forget to smash the like button and of course subscribe down below for more jamie day content and i will see you in my next video thank you guys for watching see you soon bye <laughs>